Welcome to PyNet for Pi 3. PyNet is OSI's interface node software for the OpenVMS operating system running on VAX and Alpha processor platforms. You may have PyNet as part of your Pi system collecting data from your instrument or distributed control systems. You may also be using PyNet to provide support for custom or in-house developed applications or applications you've obtained from third parties which require the VMS operating system. If this were a traditional classroom situation, at this point we would go around the room and introduce each other. I'll start. I'm Chuck Thompson. I'm part of the field service group at OSI. I also help with training, documentation, and special orders related to our products running on OpenVMS. I've been working with OSI since December 1987. We will be working with PyNet version 2.3 and 2.4 during our course and we will be using OpenVMS versions 7.2 and 7.3. Our Pi 3 version will be Pi 3.3 Service Release 2 plus a number of patches which are available from the OSI Tech Support website. I'd like to take a moment to welcome you to our class. This course and its materials are intended for people implementing or supporting PyNet nodes running under OpenVMS with Pi 3 servers as their home node. Several prerequisites are assumed. First, that you're comfortable as a Windows NT and Windows 2000 or XP user. Next, that you're comfortable as a user of the Pi clients, including ProcessBook, Datalink, and the Pi system management tools, especially the Tag Configurator applet, which runs inside Excel and the Pi Health Check utility. You also want to have previously completed the Pi 3 System Administrator course. Uh, for the System Administrator course, we're looking at System Management 1, Essential Skills. It's helpful but not required to also have a background in Windows NT or 2000 or XP System Administration and OpenVMS System Administration, Pi 2 Applications, the Pi 2 Data Archive, Pi 2 Point Building, and also all the database attributes in the databases on a Pi 2 or PyNet node. I keep referring to Pi 2 because PyNet is based on the Pi 2 architecture which ran on OpenVMS. I should cover some uh, uh, ground rules before we get started too far. We'll refer to Windows throughout the class and generally that means Windows NT 4.0 and probably means Windows 2000 as well. However, if in doubt, ask us. A lot of vendors have software such as from your instrument vendor or your distributed control system vendor that may not fully support Windows 2000 or Windows XP or Windows 2003 server yet. So if in doubt, check with the vendor. We'll refer to tags and points pretty interchangeably during this course. You can assume that they mean the same thing unless we tell you differently. Note that each PyNet is custom compiled for the server it works with. You must have a match set for anything to work well or to work at all. Note that there's some slight difference in operation when PyNet is connected to a Pi2 server instead of a Pi3 server. And one of the things we'll explain during this course is that the PyNet we make for Pi2 is very different and not exactly compatible with the PyNet that we make for Pi3. So we'll point these differences out to you as we encounter them. We'll refer to the VMS operating system often during the class and generally you can assume that we mean OpenVMS and that will be OpenVMS version 6.1 and later. However, OSI does not support OpenVMS 7.0 and there are some limitations to our being able to support VMS 7.3 on the Alpha platform. However, we do support VMS 7.3 on the VAX platform. Generally, you can assume that VMS is VMS. We've taken steps to take advantage of the commonality and functionality and operation of the VAX and the Alpha platform with the VMS operating system. So you can assume that everything is the same, all the features and functionality are the same on both platforms unless we tell you differently.